good afternoon i hope everybody is well i am back and doing a video today so i'm still wanting to use up some of my scrapbooking papers so um i've got a few strips here that i left here on um the last time i did a video and i've also got um some envelopes so at the moment on my table i've got some glassine envelopes so i'll use those and um i like to um i haven't used many of these but i do like to stitch them into the journal and not do too much on this part because they're beautiful and transparent and you can see what's inside really 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 well so you can see that if you put a nice big piece of paper in there it looks lovely in the glassine envelope so what I thought I might do, like with these strips here, um, is attach them there, and not quite at the edge, but then that can get be stitched into a journal, and then you've got a page there and a page there. So I really like that idea. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that one down. And you can do it with any type of... I'll glue it here, actually. I'll put the glue to a certain point. So I hope everybody had a lovely weekend and you're all well. We had a nice weekend, except that we went went away with, only for a night, but we went away with the silly man that I don't like very much. And he, I tell you what, it was a trial. Oh my goodness, was he rude. It was quite embarrassing at times. I get embarrassed when people are, you know, sort of being obnoxious and rude to, um, especially if, especially people that we don't know, to like shop people, people in shops. And, and we went to this, um, we went to Montepulciano and we, and Steffi and I love to buy wine and taste it and it's really fun. Um, and we went into this lovely um, cellar in the town and this lady, I mean, she was a hoot. She's 86. I can tell you she didn't look like she was 86. She had a beehive, black hair and a beehive. I can't tell you, the beehive would have been about 30 centimetres tall. Um, she had um, the blue makeup. She obviously, she's probably like me, she can't see for looking. And when she puts her makeup on, the blue, she had electric blue eyeshadow. And it went right up over her eyebrows. It would, I mean, she was a character, and but you could tell she was like this elegant lady. Um, now, that's a bit crinkly. That's because the glue is wet, but that doesn't matter because we're going to cover that. Um, so I'm going to glue that there, and then we'll glue another one. Yeah, so she had this um, eyeshadow that went right up. See, I can use this because I'm going to cover the other side. Um, I'll try, I might just try my glue stick i don't seem to be able to see where i've put my jotto one i don't think i finished it. i've probably dropped it on the floor somewhere um yeah so she had the eyeshadow right up over, over her eyebrows um but and she came from um the southern part of italy but she obviously um she went to the conservatory of music and is a really great amazing piano player and um yeah that's better and she um so just jigging along here. Um, and so she, I might just grab another type of envelope. I'm here, just a minute. I'll be two seconds. Here we go, this is what I want. So guys we'll do one of these as well um yeah so anyway she she went to the conservatory of music so she's a really amazing piano player and she also um taught music and she obviously i think she must have met i must look them up um she met this um gentleman from tuscany from montepulciano who had he made wine he was a from a wine making family and they fell in love and she she moved to Tuscany this is what she told us while we were tasting the wine um, I mean she was really a hoot oh de we'll definitely go back and see her one day and um, and so 
Anyway, so we're tasting the wine and Mr. Stingy Pants wasn't. Um, he wasn't going to be buying any, but he was shouting. Like he was screaming at, he was so obnoxious and being so rude and, um, and, and just raising his voice at her, but not in an angry way, just being obnoxious. He was just obnoxious. It was very upsetting, actually. Um, I was so embarrassed. I just, I just wanted to melt and disappear, um, into the earth. I just, it was just, cr I was cringing. It was terrible. Um, and I, and he, and he wouldn't stop. But you know, one of those things like they it felt like it goes on for days I'm just looking for the right piece it just went on and on and on and on and it just wouldn't stop it felt like an eternity um and and you know he's demanding a glass of wine and you know they don't they don't just give you wine like that like a glass of wine you you need to you, they give you a little taste and like we were we were tasting from one glass like I didn't want my own glass I just said to Steffi I'll just taste a bit of yours and 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 he had no intention of buying anything and so he was tasting it was just gross don't even let me think about it but he was tasting from our glass um and and he had and then he's saying to her well we we would like three glasses of wine we want to taste some wine and i'm like well, what have we been doing we've been tasting wine and now we're purchasing it and and um anyway so he he's screaming at her that he wants three glasses of wine and she's like okay well i'll give you three glasses of wine um and I said to Stefano, please pay for the wine. It's so embarrassing. Um, and um, even though we'd bought wine, I said, please pay for the three glasses of wine. I just can't stand it. And um, anyway, they got the three glasses of wine. And then he said to her, how much? And then he just threw the money at her. It was just, I mean, it was just a revolt. It was just terrible. I was, I'm never going away with that man ever again. I knew it was going to be awful. Um it was just embarrassing the whole time, actually, to be honest. You know, being stingy at dinner time, not wanting to pay his share, having to have a discount on the bill and, you know, us and the other couple having to cover for his stinginess. I mean, if you, honestly, you don't, there's, the, I mean, and, and they were the ones that insisted on having this weekend away together. Um, you know, but... Be, you know being tight wads i mean i'm not saying you have to go and spend 300 euro on a meal it was like not that much but just you know trying to not pay for things so anyway i survived just i had to bite my tongue um quite a lot and and stefano had to bite his as well we bit our tongues and just got on with it but um and lily burst into tears and she's like why are we going away with these people i don't want to go i want to go home <laughs> Like, well, we're going home soon, but we ha we can't be rude. We have to go where everybody else is going. So anyway, look, the places we visited were beautiful. Um, part of the company was good. A little part of the company was not so good. So you can't have it all, can you? But the scenery, the countryside, really worth a visit once, you know, once we can all sort of move out, move about again definitely worth a visit i think i might glue that there just to sort of unify it all so basically i'm just adding a flip onto an envelope but it's not actually it's not really going to be a flip because that's going to be stitched into the journal and that's actually going to become a page so that's what my intention was but i like doing that with um envelopes is adding a bit to them so then they become a page as well and also you add oh, well this one i have a little bit more bulk just because i had to cover up on the inside this particular envelope but normally i wouldn't have i even no i'm not going to slip that off um i wouldn't have such bulk because with the glassine ones you don't have to cover up on the inside Right, and it's hot again today. I thought it was going to cool down, but it's obviously not cooling down yet. I just bring my towel over here. It's not wet, but I it'll it will take off the excess glue, so that's good. And we'll do something there, but we'll put that one aside. That one's ready. Now we need to cover up a bit here. Um, and what? Actually, what I did with my other one was I trimmed that off. So I think I'll do that.
the middle. Good. And then I'm going to just put a strip of something there just to cover up that bit there. So I could tear this. It's a good, good thing for these strips too to use these up because they do collect up quite a bit of them. And I'm just wondering, I might have, I might like this strip. Oh, I've got two strips here. Yes, I do. I'm pretty sure. It, ooh, maybe I like that. No, that's too busy. Let's do this one. So I want to um, tear it down this way. I want a torn look because we've got nice edges, you know, straight edges there. So I'll have a torn look for that. And yes, I'm going to cut that bit there. Okay, and I'm going to put that there. Again, this is something that you can mass make. It really is because uh, I'll just tear that. Um, you can just put, stick all your bits on, and then you just come back and do each step for a whole lot of them. Whoopsie! Whoopsie! Hopefully I'm on screen. I did move the arm a little bit of the, um, you know, the arm that hide, holds the telephone. Okay. So much to do and so little time. Okay, that's that. And then I need to take that off, but let's decide what I'm going to put here. Oh, I could put this piece that I liked. I'm going to put that there and I'll put it at clo as close to there as I can. But you won't see that bit there because that'll be stitched in. So let's just trim this off. Oh, and there was some concern from, from my dad and another lovely um, lady who always writes lovely comments, and I haven't answered her yet, about us wearing masks, because I had mentioned that we will wear our masks. But we only wear our masks um, if we if there's a lot of people, like um, Montable Chano had moments where the streets can be quite narrow and there were quite a few people coming down, spread out across the, the road, so then you can't get past without social distancing, so then we'll whip our masks on. But we don't leave, we don't, um, I say we, we do, we're good, we do wear our masks, but we don't wear them for long stretches because there are studies, um, and my dad reminded me as well, um, there are studies that um, wearing a mask for a long period of time can... Um, can not be good for you. So, um, what I, you know, I also told Lily when you're when you when we're not near anyone, please take your mask off and breathe proper air, not breathe your mono your carbon dioxide that you're breathing out. So yeah, we I mean we don't wear our masks for long stretches of time. Just um, like if you go in a restaurant, we wear the mask where we're walking into the restaurant, but then we take it off. Once we sit down, if we get up and go to the bathroom, we put our mask on and then we come back and we take it off. When we're in the street, if there's not too many people around, we take our mask off. Um, so it doesn't really stay on for probably more more than 10 minutes at a time at the most, I would think, if I think about it. There we go. So that's done. I like that. Um, and then, yeah, so, so yeah, don't, please don't worry about that. We're not crazy and wearing, you know, masks all day, every day sort of thing. Um, right, I'm going to snip that bit off there on that one. I just think it makes your life a bit easier. I should have cut it off. On, I might cut it off on the other, the first one we did too. I didn't think about it there. Okay, 
so I want to put something. I don't actually need. I but I, I don't actually need to put anything down that one, but I might, just because I feel like it just gives it a little bit of reinforcement. So what I'll do is I'll trim that so it's straightish, and then I'll put my glue. Yeah. Put it there like that over the where it joins and it just reinforces it very slightly. Trim that off. I think I'll get a new glue page. And of course you can go cray cray with this, like you can put pockets on your on your scrapbooking paper. Um you can do that you can put like a window pocket on there would be good fun you can do all kinds of things this is just fairly simple at the moment so and then I need to sort this mess out here because this crinkled so that's a good point and I don't really want the shells there so we'll probably do some covering up on this one. Oh, here we go I've got a good piece of paper here this is gonna be perfect I like that so that will go there so I take off my sticky because that solves the problem of the sticky as well. Now this is very crinkly. Um, let me just see where my card is. Here we go. Because I did tidy up. Let's see if I can just flatten it a little bit. I shouldn't have used that glue. But anyway, you live and learn. And I think I wanted that side, didn't I? So I've got to glue that side. And I might even just fold that up there. Okay, so that's securely there. It's not thick in the crease because the papers don't go into the crease. And that is good. So now, if you want to do any form of decoration on these, you can. So let's have a look. I've got all my papers um, over here. So first of all, I might, I've got this bit of letter. And that's going to be good there. I'm going to put the letter there. I like that. And just slide it over there and I've covered up the shells because I'm not doing a sea seaside journal. Don't know why I've got that. Okay, so let me think here. Let's see what we've got. Just pull over some of my mess. Put my I've only got three done here, but um, we could have done more, but I'll just do three for this one. I've got more bits and pieces of paper, but I can do those afterwards. Have that wasn't that pretty. Oh, what I was really excited. We went to the antique market in um, Arezzo, and I think I'm going to cut put that there. Um, and I was so excited because um, these papers are the really famous Remondini papers um, from I think they're from the 1700s. And I've seen on Pinterest um, some people have you know shared images of um of the journal of not journals papers a uh, books covered with this paper and there was a Sally I, I I was a bit I didn't actually end buy anything from him because they were a little bit out of my price range um but he had this little mini bookshelf where he had um like some of the books were only like this big um smaller than my telephone actually um and they were um the remondini paper ones um they were covered in them and they were really 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 beautiful i mean one day i'll treat myself but that day was not the day that i was treating myself but um they were the most beautiful book and they look so nice all in the little bookshelf together i didn't actually i was thinking i should have asked him to take a photograph but i didn't buy anything and from him and he he took a like a really long time to show me all the books and I think he was excited to have someone that clearly loved them um, but I, I probably disappointed him that I didn't buy anything so um, but yeah they were really beautiful really 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 
something, a feast for your eyes, they were. Feast for your eyes. I'm going to put that there. I need a bigger piece. Bigger piece. Where Do I have a bigger piece? I do. And the reason why I went to Arezzo was uh, because my really good markets here have been cancelled again. And now they're saying they're going to see, they said it was on. And now they're saying they're seeing us in October. Well, I'll believe that when I see it because um, they keep postponing it. And that's a very good market, that one. Anyway, right, so that's that. I would just leave that like that, I think. And then, you know, whatever, whenever you have the journal, then you've got that page. Um, but you can do whatever you want on it. And I'm just wondering whether here, I'm going to just see what images I've got in this mess here. If there's anything here that would be lovely on there, I'll put it. If not, I won't bother. Like something like that. That's very nice with those colours. Oh, that's nice. Lily's flower there. Um, let me see. sort of need something that's sort of big enough and I did print these out smaller didn't I uh -huh, that was clever don't want purple I actually don't think I'm going to decorate that I think I'm going to leave that because that'd be very nice just a nice addition in a journal so we'll put that one aside and then we've got this one now, Birdie is sideways. We've got that there. I don't think I would put too much more on there. I think that's really nice like that. And then someone could put um, some sort of paper on there. You know, something like this, maybe. Well, that would be nice. Actually, I will put that there. I told a lie. <laughs> put that there, I think. I'll trim it off. Trim that bit off there. There's my scissors. Where are they? Okay. I'm going to put that there. And that's it for there. Again, someone can decide what to do. But I might do something here. I'm just going to have a sip of tea. It's tea time. Now let me see here. I might just tear this down and see if I might like this. And these are all the same kits that I showed in the last video. So I'll just put the links for those back down in the description box. I am not pulling out anything new. I like to use up, you know, as much as I can um, what I've got on my table. I did go and print these out because I had, didn't have any more left. I used them all. Okay. And I think, oh, yes, I think that's really nice on there. And I'll leave that bit there. But I'm covering up the bird because he's been chopped off for one, which we don't like. And, and he's sideways. And I think I prefer to put cover it up. I like this little bit down there so I'll leave just a portion of it. Poking out the bottom. I didn't put any glue there. Silly. And it's crooked. It slid a little bit. That'll do. Okay, so I um, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Do I want to put anything on there? I don't know. Let's have a look. Could tear that out. And I fussy tear around this flower and see if I might like that. That's what I sort of intended this paper to be like a sort of collage sort of paper that you could rip up and use bits and pieces of it. 
Yes, Lulu. I'm hungry. Can I eat now? Yes. Okay. Well, lunch was a disaster. Of course you can eat. Yeah. I've ended up covering that up now. <laughs> so, Lulu asked for prosci prosciutto and melon. So I went to the supermarket and I had stopped buying prosciutto crudo from... Sorry that. for interrupting, Mummy. I've nearly finished my drawing. Oh, good. Can you show us after? Yeah, when I've finished it, yeah. If I'm still videoing? Yeah. Oh, I really like that. Okay, so there you go. That's an example of how I might decorate it. And then we've got to do the next one, which is this one. And this one is like this. Let me see. A little bit stiffer because I did cover up that bit, but I could have actually trimmed it off there. I might still do that because I don't like that bit because I didn't think of it because I'm slow anyway so what was I saying uh, I can't remember oh yeah so we went to I went to the supermarket Lulu asked for prosciutto and melon and in the past at this in the fresh deli section of the supermarket um, they had good prosciutto crudo from Parma but lately the last three times I bought it and I haven't bought it for quite a while um, it was gross and so then I thought well I haven't bought it for quite a few months um, so maybe they they're better now was disgusting couldn't eat it so I just we just had melon we ended up just having melon for lunch which is a bit of a flop um, so of course it was only half an hour ago if no maybe a bit longer an hour ago that we we in inverted commas had lunch our pieces of melon and so Lulu's already hungry well I'm a bit hungry too but I'm gonna resist because an hour ago was an hour ago I've been corrected it was an hour ago um so yeah I like that there um so but I'm not too concerned about it for me because we did go away and we did eat out quite a bit so it's probably a good idea if I eat a bit less today give my tummy a rest there we go I like that what is this no that's that I don't want that I'm thinking, oh, I don't want to cover that paper up, do I? I like that paper. So I think I'll leave that like that. Maybe I could have something shooting up the side, but I don't think I've got anything to shoot up the side. Could put a butterfly. Butterfly wouldn't be too bad. I'll just put this glue book over there. It's in my way. Oh, I could, but I don't know if I want that colour. Let me just tear it. Oh, I did have some French trims that might be nice. No. None of those. put anything there I don't want to cover it up I do like this and I kind of well that's actually a good writing spot isn't it it is a good writing spot on that side so maybe I wouldn't cover that one up maybe what have I got going on that side? so I could have a bit of this here let's just tear this down and see if we like it Yeah, I think I'll put that there. <laughs> okay. So then this one, I would just leave these as they open they just open where's a I had a um, piece of folded here it is so just say this is my signature my you know it's part of my signature that that 
you can still slip things in there but the other option especially with this type because I said I'm not going to do anything to the glassine ones but with this type you can actually then um, you know grab a piece of let me see here like you can grab a piece of scrapbooking not scrapbooking of paper and stitch, cover that up and stitch down it and then open it on the other side. Maybe we'll do that, but I don't think I might. I might like this side, I think. So I'll grab my ruler. This is actually only printed on um, regular copy paper, but it actually, I don't think it'll be a problem. You're still coughing, Lily. Yeah. Did you choke? No. Did, did, did some um, crumbs go down your wrong way? Oh, you'll be all right. Okay, so we'll put that there. Oh, and such a hoorah about school here. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have torn that much off. Why did I do that? Oh, dear. Okay, I'm going to have to attach it to something else before I attach it there. Um, such a hoorah about school. Especially um, Lulu School, they were like, "Oh, we're not going to open." They nobody, you know, they're not happy about the transport situation because it's an area where um, a lot of schools um, actually are there, and so like the the um, the the buses are super crowded, and and so you know, there's quite a a lot of um, gathering shall we say. I'll put that there. No, don't like that. Um, I think I like more that and I'm going to glue it on that side. So what I need to do, we're doing a bit of patching here. Um, I'm going to put some glue across there. So they're not, um, and so they're umming and ahhing and huffing and puffing about how is the school going to start. So we've just got, we and like, like literally they're meant to start on Monday and we had no idea what was going to happen. Oh, that's all sticky now. And um, anyway, so so we've had notification from the school that uh, that Monday they're staying at home. They're not got Lulu's class is not going to school, and um, and and then they're doing much reduced hours, like only four hours, and we only know the first three days what's happening. Like we don't even know the rest of it. Where, you know whether when she's going to school they've only told us monday tuesday and wednesday for school which is just crazy anyway i don't know and they didn't tell us whether maybe on monday they're going to be doing online lessons i don't know i mean it's just really bizarre to me anyway it's disappointing for the kids too because they want to, i mean lulu and her friends are, are dying to go back to school they haven't been since the 20 lulu hasn't been to school since the 21st of february Would you have a sip of water, please? I'm sorry. Have a sip of water, dear. Don't need to apologise. Just have a sip of water. Okay, so I didn't glue. Did you notice I was very careful about not gluing there? Because I'm going to stitch down there. And now I'm going to open. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to open it on the other side. And I like this envelope. I bought these on Amazon in Italy. Um... And they're very nice quality and you don't really need to cover it all up if you don't want to. It's a it's a oatmeal -y sort of colour and this lovely brown on the inside, which I think is nice. So I'm not quite sure what I want to do there if I want to uh, cover it up or... Let me see. So that's nice. Like that. So we could... Well, maybe we'll put some of this on here. Tear it down. Might tear that off. That's very crooked cutting there. Oh, well, it'll give Madam a bit more time to get her homework done. She hasn't finished.
So that will go there. So let's see. I'll tear that bit with my ruler. <coughs> Need a new piece of paper. Gosh, we go through the paper, don't we? Through the paper and through the glue. Okay, that's good. And then, what else can we put that there? Tear that down a little bit. Put that there. Oh, I like that. I'm going to... It, I'm going to tear the bottom off. Let's do that first. That there. I'm going to tear it down here first. Just seeing, I'm just eyeballing it where to tear it off here. So I am mostly covering it up. Put that there. Now I like a little bit of book page there. I think, oh, I've got the perfect piece here. that off there tear it there and then when I think we might have Add a piece here. I wonder if this is no, that's not going to be any good. We might have a little bit of the the green paper like that. Well, it's not quite long enough, but I'll put it there. So I need to cut it there. Perfect. Maybe I have that one. Yeah. And we are done. There we go. We've collaged our envelope. Cute. So let's go through what's happened. And then I'll show you my prototype because I did make a prototype for this one. So we've got the three envelopes. Now this one I didn't decorate. You don't need to decorate everything because it can happen later in the journal. But I did cover up that side because it wasn't really a theme that I was going with. And so that's the first one. And as I said, then you slip things in here. And you can see it very well. So that's really nice. I like that. So that's that one. Then we did this one. We did decorate this one a bit more. Which I think is super pretty. You could have a little label there if you wanted to. But I didn't put one. You also could have a bit of... Um, like a little corner of doily could be nice. And then this is the third one. So I left this like this. I think this could have a little bird or something like that. I'm nearly finished, Lily. Don't worry. Um, this I'm going to stitch down here and it opens on this side. So you could do a little um, circle punch there if you want to. So you can see that. Um, and then you can write there. And then that's the reverse side of that one because that wasn't a transparent one. And then this was my prototype here. So this was the one that I tried. And I might go ahead and snip those off. And I put a little bit of lace on the inside of that one. But I might go ahead and snip that part out. I kind of like that cut off. 
And so I didn't do that before, but I could have. So I'll do it now. There we go. I like that more. And again, that's just going to be stitched into the signature. And then you get this and then you get that. And I really like that effect. So there you have it. So that is my video today. I hope everybody is well and I hope you enjoyed that. Super fun. I mean, as I said, you can do all kinds of things with it. You can um, add more flipping things, flipping out, flipping down. You can put pockets on there. You can do all kinds of things. So that's just a simple version of it for you. So I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.